I'm completely fascinated by how it is that organisms that cannot swim, fly, run, move in landscapes. So a lichen doesn't fly, a lichen doesn't run. They have to make a living wherever they land. These lichens, which we take to be ubiquitous and synonymous with natural beauty, grow on these man-made structures. They grow on tombstones and cemeteries. They grow on old stone walls. And so I'd like to know how they move from place to place, how they grow, how often they're born, how long they live, when they die, what they die from. I had an idea to do what's called a demography, where you actually go out and count individuals and you track individuals over time and try to answer some of these questions. So old cemeteries are a great place to do work on lichens. They're manufactured habitats in a way but they do use natural rocks often, and these are the rocks where the lichens like to grow. Since 2005, I've been out here visiting these tombstones every fall. Basically why I use tombstones is because they're extremely flat and extremely easy to do tracings on. And what I do is I keep track of the individual lichens. Year after year, I will do a tracing for every individual that I'm, I'm surveying. And by comparing the data over the years, I can get an estimate of the growth rate. Later on, I'll use a computer to, after I scan the tracing, to count the number of pixels that are interior to the tracing and get then a fairly accurate rendition of the amount of area that this lichen occupies. I can also do things like correlate size with age. So I can begin to tell you when you see a lichen of this size about how old the lichen might be. I thought it might take maybe 50 years to get really good data, but I had an idea in my head that I would start and I would try to collect data for 20 years and see how that went. One of the very startling things that's emerged from this research is that actually I have great data after five years. It's a much more dynamic population, a much more dynamic scenario than I might have envisaged to begin with. A lot of individuals are born every year and a lot of individuals die every year. So in contrast to sort of the perceived wisdom about lichens in particular being very slow growing, working on time scales of hundreds or tens of hundreds of years, in fact these are working on time scales that are on the order of decades. When we think about how these lichens moved through the new landscapes that were created by humans, it becomes very much easier to understand that these species were able to very quickly cope with the change and take advantage of the change. They're in fact here because we put the structures in place to let them grow. So these are all the questions that I'm interested in, and, uh, and cemeteries are a great place to ex explore those questions.